So hello. Uh, my first question is: uh, Would you please un introduce yourself and also the project you're representing here at the Zero Project Conference? Yes, my name is Torkel Sonne. I'm from Denmark, and I'm founder of a concept called Specialistene that uh, qualify and employ high-functioning people on the autistic spectrum in a way where they can use their their skill sets in a work environment that cope for their social challenges in a way where they can use their, their natural skills to outperform what's used to in the market in tasks like software testing, data entries, quality control that can benefit from a high, uh, very good memory, um, perseverance in repetitive tasks, attention to detail and a structured mind. Um, what are, according to you, the top three reasons this project is so successful? Well, I think for, for once, the drive. I'm a social entrepreneur, and I'm in this because my younger son was diagnosed with autism 12 years ago, and that's where I found out that if he should have a place in the labor market that prefers order to disorder, we would have to show the way ourselves. And um, it's not a company that is meant for my son to be employed, but I got to know so many people that were in the same situation. And I'm in this an, as an Ashoka global um, a fellow, globalizer fellow, in order to change the mindsets all over the world. So people will find it natural to adapt work environment according to what is needed for the individual to make the most out of his or her potential. So this is one. And another reason is that the skill sets of that we can bring in to the labor market is actually very much needed. We are talking about unemployment rates uh, that are very high in Europe, 25 million unemployed people but there are 4 million vacant jobs in IT and science, technology, engineering, math. And these are areas where we can bring in people. So it's not just about jobs, it's about filling up vacant jobs in the sector. And the third reason I could come up with is that it's actually very beneficial for society. It costs so much, there are so many People on the autistic spectrum, probably 1% of the population, we spend a lot of money uh, to, to keep people idle. We could turn them into taxpayers instead. That's a good deal for society. We have made a social return on investment calculation for specialists in Austria that shows that for every one euro invested by the community, there'll be a return on 6.2 euro. And then the most important thing for us, it makes sense as a human that of course these people should also take part in society. They should find a meaningful and productive job, raise the quality of life, the parents can relax when their kids finally find their place in society. So. In any way, it's a very good idea. Um, when we think about uh, globalizing or internationalizing this idea, do you see, or what are the obstacles you see for implementation in other countries? Well, for that, I have founded a nonprofit uh, called Specialist People Foundation. And the goal is to enable one million jobs for what we call specialist people. We're in seven countries today, including Austria. and. The biggest obstacle is the way we organize our welfare system. The people are the same. The needs in the business sector are the same. What can be a challenge is to find funding for the training and qualification that is needed because these people know a lot about what they're not good at. They've been told so all their life, but we need to work with them on their motivation, their skill sets, their workability, and that has some costs. And we need the local governments to, to cover 
these costs. Otherwise, we can't bring them into, up to an entry level into the market. When they are trained, we run a consultancy that will be self-sustainable after we have reached scale. So, um, but that, this can be complex when you go across Europe, for example. Um, but the people are there, the need is there, and the rest is about planning. Okay. Uh, my last question is, um, what is your impression from the Zero Project Conference so far, and what would, you, would be your wish for the future? Well, I think it's, it's a wonderful idea, and um, the first year's report, I, I paid especially attention to some of the findings, namely that employment is a big issue for people with disabilities, and in particular, the government institution's ability to employ people with disability was one of the really significant outcomes that that's a big, big problem there. And they ought to be the first ones to employ. I think it's a wonderful setting. I'm a social entrepreneur. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm doing this uh, following my intuition. But the only way we can make it long-lasting and sustainable in, in more communities will be to have the policymakers get to the table and the different NGOs. And this is, I think, a great platform for bringing the partners together and work on the kind of long-term um, investments in sharing policy, sharing good initiatives. And I hope that we as social entrepreneurs can contribute, but we are the go-getters and we need the, the pol uh, politicians and the bigger NGOs to, to work together from, from the go-getter side and the, the kind of more political side. That's where we can make long-lasting solutions. Thank you very much.